Okay, so today we have a matrix traverse question, uh, 498 diagonal traverse. We have a matrix with M rows and N columns. Uh, we want to extract the elements from this matrix uh, in this uh, diagonal order. Uh, so the diagonal diagonal order, it's um, uh, the upper right uh, order and direction and the bottom left direction being alternating between these two. So whenever we are going to uh, jump out of the matrix in the next uh, step, we're gonna uh, actually resort to a nearby location and then switch the direction. Um, yeah. So ideally, if we can just uh, have the code uh, uh, to simulate uh, this uh, ordering of uh, visiting the elements, we can uh, just visit every cell exactly once. So the time complexity, idea time complexity, it's uh, m multiplied by n, uh, meaning that we visit every cell exactly once. And the space complexity should be constant, meaning that uh, uh, we can have uh, rules to figure out the next location to go to. So that's pretty much the time and the space analysis. Uh, the details is uh, it's just in the how we figure out the next location. So let's say that uh, if we are at uh, this uh, location row and column, uh, based on the direction uh, upper right, then the next location, uh, next row and next column will be, uh, you know, uh, it will be the row minus one and the column plus one. Bottom, uh, bottom left. Let me align things a little bit better. Row plus one and column minus one. So just looking at this, uh, uh, minus one, plus one, plus one, minus one. So um, if we let uh, d equal to one means upright minus one b bottom left direction so these two things this two line uh, would change to uh, okay let's let's actually copy and paste common this out this will be d equal to one and the second case is d is equal to minus one and uh, we, we can just replace this one by minus d uh, plus one here it's uh, plus d so the so the mass is uh, it's the same for uh, both directions if we code direction with one being upper right and uh, minus one being bottom left so uh, th th this just be uh, make the code a little bit cleaner uh, so when we hit the wall, uh, go out of bound in the next uh, jump, depends on the direction, we handle them differently. If, the, if we are in the upright direction, uh, if we can't go right, like uh, the three here, uh, we, will, we couldn't go right anymore, we will go down. In the opposite direction is that uh, if we cannot go down we go right uh, notice that uh, this is opposite uh, opposite as well uh, so yeah that's pretty much the uh, uh, the the logic to uh, mimicking what this um, um, order is so let's put them into code actually um, So if the matrix empty, we return empty. Otherwise, uh, we we grab the number of rows and number of columns so that uh, the, so that we can use them in the code. And uh, the initial location is uh, uh, row one and column uh, zero, row zero, column zero, and uh, direction be upright. 
and uh, we have an empty vector of to uh, store the um, extracted uh, sound values. So uh, the, we're just going to have a one loop while we haven't uh, collected all the elements yet which is equivalent to say that uh, the result uh, vector size is uh, not equal to uh, the number of elements in the matrix. Um, then, um, then we will just put, put the current uh, cell value onto this uh, um, vector. After that, we're going to try to figure out the next location. Uh, next R is going to be R minus D. Next column is going to be col column plus direction. Uh, then we want to figure out if the next location is out of bound or not, uh, which is, um, let's call this uh, out of bound. Um, this is equivalent to say that uh, uh, row uh, next row is less than equal uh, less than zero. Uh, we go beyond, uh, go up beyond, or uh, it can only be equal uh, n, or basically it's um, uh, four directions uh, out of boundary of this matrix. So that's uh, the uh, out of bond. If we actually gonna be out of bond in the next move, uh, so we don't want to go to the NRNC location. Uh, we want to based on the direction. Uh, we, we should figure out the next location to go. You know, if it's not out of the boundary, uh, the logic is simple. Uh, we just use uh, accept the next row and next column number. And if we are uh, out of bound, also something we need to do is to uh, switch the direction to be the opposite direction. Uh, if the if we're in this direction, the upper right direction. Um, when we cannot go right, we go down. Uh, otherwise, we just go right. So it will be a simple if-else condition here. Uh, go right is uh, equal to column plus plus. Uh, otherwise, it's uh, row plus plus. The, the condition here is that if we cannot go right, that's when uh, the next column is uh, out of bound, uh, which is n here. So the, the code here in this else block is similar, except that, uh, oh sorry, it's a column, it, it, except it's testing the rows. Um, if we cannot go uh, down, then we go right, which is uh, column plus plus, otherwise uh, we go down, which is uh, row plus plus. Uh, yeah, so where are we? Uh, so I, I think it's uh, pretty much the code. Uh, let me just go through this uh, very quickly to see if uh, uh, there is any obvious problems. So the boundary case matrix is empty, we return nothing. Um, uh, we grab the number of rows and number of columns. Uh, the initial location is at uh, top left, zero, 0, the direction is upright. We have an empty vector to store the, um, oh, sorry, to store the uh, extracted uh, matrix elements. While we haven't get all the numbers we want yet, uh, we would do is to push the current uh, cell value onto this uh, result. Then we will try to figure out the next location. Uh, generally, it is the case that uh, we're gonna. Uh, generally, it's it's based on this formula. Um, if uh, if we are, if we are out of the bond, uh, the next location is out of bond. Uh, we'll handle them slightly differently. 
the auto bond it's uh, just testing the uh, next row next column their relationship with uh, zero or the uh, row plus one or column plus one column index plus one or row column or row number or row index pl plus one um, then uh, the logic here uh, let me see if it's upright when we cannot go right anymore uh, we go down otherwise we just go right uh, the in the bottom left kind of direction if we cannot go down anymore we go right otherwise we go down um, yep it looks uh, it looks right to me uh, let, let's see how if the code works yeah it's working okay cool uh, that's the question so it's um, um, order of uh, m plus n you know the number of elements uh, we visit uh, the uh, every cell exactly once and uh, the space it's uh, you can see it's constant other than the result vector which is obviously uh, m multiplied by n uh, so yeah that's uh, that's it for today